One thing that we're doing here, for instance, is uh, we have a different list of prices that we have uh, the echo prices that we have in the in the in the database or in the backend. And uh, a very quick exercise is just to iterate over those uh, lists of prices. Another exercise that we're doing here is that we apply a price multiplier, and uh, we're running a hundred scenarios. Let's run ten to start with. Uh, we are running uh, just a, a random normal distribution uh, to 100 to 10 scenarios uh, for price multiplier and cost multiplier. Actually, let's elevate this to 50. So if I run that on 50 scenarios, uh, what I should see it's a range of uh, cash flow for those 50 scenarios. And uh, let's do something a bit more interesting. Let's put a hundred scenarios here. It's gonna take, I don't know, 10 seconds to run. And this is where you see the power of uh, uh, already bringing all this uh, data into Python. Now you build the, you build the economic model. It's, uh, it's uh, in Python. Now I'm running a hundred sensitivities very quickly. And, uh, and going back to the, to the exercise, and because of the time, probably we can we cannot wrap up that uh, with with the actual exercise. But what what we have in in fact is a, is quite few a large number of sensitivities on that model. So this large number of sensitivities in that model, like, which is actually much larger than that, because we have there are many more cases. We want to bring the the production scenarios, uh, uh, those all those production scenarios, and run. Uh, all those pro production scenarios and evaluate what is it, the range of, of net present value. So going back to going back, let me let me select here. What we have there, it's uh, those ranges of, of models. Uh, another another exercise that we can do because this is uh, uh, quite interactive. Well, uh, one thing it's out of these hundred scenarios, I can evaluate the KPI in this case, for instance, a uh, net present value. And uh, uh, actually, these these axes are from something else. But let's say this is actually uh, this is MPV and uh, like likelihood of occurrence. Um, this is MPV, right? So this is an MPV for a given project, and where we can see for those hundred scenarios that there are some scenarios that are very likely to uh, to be uh, under a negative outcome, negative MPV. Um, this is another sensitivity that we built in Python, which is uh, a price multiplier. But now we have uh, a very simple. Um, very simple functionality to play around with the price multiplier. Uh, so, so let's assume that we increase the capex by this much. How much I represent in terms of MPV of uh, if we reduce it by by uh, eighty per, by uh, this is this is price multiplier. If the price is sixty percent below what it is now, how much that is in terms of net present value of the product. Um, I think. That would be it.